سخنرانی پروفسور رابرتس آنچه شما پشت سر گذاشتید واقعا خارق العاده است موزه مقاومت یک تجربه شگفتی آور بود و باید آن را به نحوی گسترده تر در دسترس بقیه جهان قرار داد It would be introduce our dear guest today in Ashraf Tree Professor Roberts has been defending the rights of MEK members since 13 years ago when they were under ground and air strikes by Iranian regime's terrorists in Iraq, and we are very indebted to his courage, honor, and very deep human understanding. I have to thank you for that incredibly warm introduction, for a marvelous speech to get this little session going. But I have to say that it is really your achievements that are much more important than mine. What I've done has been tiny by comparison with the efforts that you have put in, by the courage that you've shown, by your firm defense of freedom, by your desire to set up a true democracy in Iran. And I think no one could walk through the museum as I did this morning without understanding the trials and tribulations that you and your colleagues, friends, family have been through. I, I was really moved to tears, but I, I tried hard to maintain my composure when I could. It was really a wonderful experience, and I believe it is something that should be made more widely available to the rest of the world. And I think if you were to make a, a small documentary or two that focused just on the museum and the exhibits that you have in it, it would have a wonderful effect on many, many people. It would guarantee support of the sort that you probably haven't seen yet. What you've been through is just extraordinary. And I hereby pledge that I will do everything possible to increase my own efforts to help you in any way that I can. I do have act I do have access to a large number of Nobel laureates, and I think the next letter that goes out, I will try to make sure that there are many, many more supporters listed uh, that can help in bringing your case before the general public. My firm hope, after walking through the museum this morning, was that in the not too distant future, I could meet you all in Tehran. I just want to tell you one or two things about some Nobel campaigns that I've done run before. I, I've organized the Nobel laureates on a number of occasions, um, probably some 20, 25 times now. And one of the things that I learned fairly early on was that it was not so much the fact that the Nobel laureates were supporting a cause, supporting you, supporting anybody, it is the fact that a lot of people who can actually do something about it listen when the Nobel laureates speak. And I think this has been something that I learned fairly early on after I won the Nobel Prize, that people listened to me and sometimes even acted on what I said. Whereas before, I used to say exactly the same things. People might pretend to listen, but they never acted on anything. And so I'm very hopeful that this is a cause 
that many, many people who are in a position to act upon it will in fact act upon it. We want to live in a peaceful world where everybody can have fun, where everybody can pursue their life's ambitions without fear. And I love the fact that you want to get rid of nuclear arms. I've been a very strong proponent of that for a long time. I'm involved with arms control groups in the US, and I think this is just wonderful. Um, we should have gotten rid of nuclear weapons a long, long time ago once we discovered what they could do. And so I really applaud you for that. I also want to say that I've been really touched by a number of the personal stories that I heard to a point where I felt I wanted to do something. Just listening to even one or two of those personal stories made me want to, to hug you. It made me want to say, what can I do to help? There must be something more I can do to help. And so this is why I think a documentary based on, on the museum and on the people who told me their stories could be so helpful for you, really very helpful. Anyway, I stand ready. I will help you in every way I can. I will encourage my Nobel laureates to help you. And I will also encourage everybody I come in contact with who I feel may be able to help. So thank you very much for the warm welcome. Thank you.